Hello everyone and welcome back to ECS 2210. This week we are going to officially start our discussions on bipolar based or bipolar transistor based amplifiers. Uh, over the past few weeks we started talking about transistors. Uh, we introduced these bipolar junction transistors. Uh, we discussed their physics of uh, like their semiconductor physics and we talked about the voltages and currents at each terminal and then how they are related to each other. We then uh, talked about the DC analysis and DC, like basically operation of these transistors and how to actually analyze them uh, when we only care about DC voltages and currents. And then we defined uh, certain parameters such as turns, conductance, and uh, generally the small signal model of the transistor. We saw the transistor's operation in active region, in saturation region, and we learned about like things such as early effect and how it impacts the uh, the DC operation of the transistor as well as the AC operation or the small signal operation. Last week we learned about the importance of biasing if we want to have an uh, if we want our transistor to work like an amplifier or work uh, properly like an amplifier with a decent amount of gain we need to have biasing we learned about the importance of biasing and we learned about different kind of techniques and circuits that we can use for either NPN or PNP transistors to basically bias them at the proper operating point that we like. So this week is going to be the official is officially going to be the, the first time that we actually learn about how um, how to analyze these amplifiers. We learn about these amplifiers. We learn about how to calculate their gain, and uh, we learn about certain parameters such as input and output impedance. We learn about output swing. We learn about power consumption. We learn about generally. How to trade these things off when you're designing an amplifier and um, all of these parameters such as power consumption gain input and output impedance voltage swing and all that when all of these are important for you how to train how to trade them off um, in a way that you design um, an optimal circuit that meets all the requirements at the same time not just the gain not just the power consumption and so on and so forth okay we're going to start our discussions um, we're going to learn about th uh, three, well, three and a half, maybe four types of different amplifiers. Um, two of them we're going to learn about them today. So we're going to call these two common emitter amplifiers and then the common emitter bit degeneration resistance amplifiers. And then next week we're going to learn about the, the other types of amplifiers that could be designed uh, using uh, bipolar transistors. And these are the, like, it's not that we're only discussing four types of amplifiers. All kind of amplifiers that you can actually design using bipolar transistors are can be divided into four categories, and we're going to learn about all these four over the next uh, over this week and the next week. 